This is really cool. This is my second attempt at a culture of copepods, and I'm getting juveniles now. You can see like the two adults right here. Look at him just swimming around. He's swimming around. He's so cute. What's up everyone, welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at copepods and why they're beneficial for your reef tank. But first, if you're brand new to the channel, the Coral Reef Talk is where I share my experience with my 210 gallon reef tank. I do product reviews and I help you to become a more successful reef keeper. Now, if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and checking that bell icon so that you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. Okay, so what are copepods? Copepods are small crustacean organisms that live in salt water and fresh water, but they're used in the reef aquarium for live feed. You can feed your fish with them. You can feed finicky fish like mandarins and pipefish. Now, I received a few bottles of tigger pods and apex pods from Reef Nutrition. Now, right off the bat, you can see that they're very active. These copepods are swimming around like crazy in here. There's a lot of tigger pods in this bottle. And right here, I'm actually setting up to attempt my first culture of copepods, but more on that a little bit later. So there's many different ways you can use copepods for your reef tank. You can feed your reef tank directly, which then the copepods will be consumed by the fish and corals in your reef, or the preferred way is to add them to your refugium where they'll kind of hide out and lay low until the time is right. Now in the refugium, they'll have a safe place to grow and thrive and develop more and more copepods that will eventually make their way back up to your display tank and then circle of life, they'll be consumed by fish and corals. Now, another thing that you can do with the ticker pods that you receive from Reef Nutrition is that you can culture your own copepods and you can do that in a five gallon or 10 gallon aquarium or like a Tupperware or a smaller container. Right here, I'm using a BRS uh, smaller container here, filled it with salt water. I'm using the Cobalt Aquatics Rescue Air. Uh, you want some airline tubing and something to control the bubble rate. Um, now this is my first attempt at culturing copepods and I'm trying to figure out the airflow here. You can see it's moving a little bit too quickly. You want a couple bubbles per second. You don't need it um, agitating the water a lot. But here's the ticker pods, very active in the bottle. Reef Nutrition has Fido Feast that you can start your culture with and it says to do about two milliliters so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just using a syringe from an old Salifert test kit I'm sure you have plenty of those laying around your house if you've been in the hobby for a while you want a little bit of green coloring to the water because you don't want it to foul your water too quickly and then from there you open up your copepods pods and you pour them in so when you empty the bottle of Tigger Pods into your container, you'll notice that not all of them pour out of the container. What I did in this case is the rest of them that was left over. I just put them in the refugium and I tried uh, to start a culture with the ones that made it into the BRS container. But overall, my first batch was not a success. I did not like this style of container. The opening at the top was way too small. So I chose to go a different route with the next bottle. Copepods are a great way to increase the biodiversity in your reef tank and to produce a naturally occurring live food for your reef tank. So for the second attempt, I went with this anchor acrylic container that I got at my local grocery store. Now it had some metal components to it on the outside, but they were very easy to remove. I just took them right off the top. You had to take the lid off first, then remove this little piece here but once all of that was removed, it was good to go. Next, I found this air pump to use as well as the proper uh, bubble valve to change the bubbles. Put my airline tubing into the air pump and the adjustment valve on the other end, just like before. And 
I was really hoping that this would work just fine. It was a different valve, so it should work. The next thing I had to do was plug it in, as you can see here. And once that happened, we were good to go. So I put it in the container and you can see the bubbles are coming out like crazy. So I figured it should be an easy adjustment. So I made the adjustment on the valve and yep, same amount of bubbles. So I just opted to tie a knot very tight into the airline hose and then hook that up to the valve and messing around with the adjustment, I finally got it right. You want a slow drip rate or bubble rate. You don't want it uh, too much. One, two bubbles per second is just fine. Next, all I had to do was add the Kopi pods or the Reef Nutrition Tigger pods. I just poured them in. And having the wide open container is a lot better. I could get more water into the little bottle to get all the Kopi pods out. But it was also a lot better if I needed to test something or if I needed to split my culture by uh, getting water out of the bucket or scooping up some pods for the tank. It's just made things a lot easier. You can see all the, the Tigger pods in there swimming around just like they were in the bottle. They're a lot of fun to watch swim around. Next up, I added Fido Feast just like before, just two milliliters of Fido Feast. You can see the Tigger pods are happy. They're enjoying their Fido Feast. And then about two weeks later, this happened. My container exploded with growth and I saw a whole bunch of little critters swimming around. So I had to grab my macro lens to get a closer look. Now this is my first attempt at culturing Kopi pods and I'm very excited at the results so far. I've got another container that I'm going to split the culture off so I can keep them going. Um, I was excited to come out here and see that I had little tiny juvenile uh, Kopi pods swimming around in the container and it was just exciting. I mean the first time trying this out, I mean the first culture didn't do so hot but the second culture uh, got started and just took off. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you give it a try yourself whether you decide to culture your own Kopi pods and raise little juveniles to feed your tank in their own separate container or you just get some Kopi pods to feed your reef tank or put them down in your refugium. Reef Nutrition has some great Kopi pods and you get a lot. I mean you get a lot of Kopi pods for that bottle. I mean I was very impressed and once again I was very impressed that I was able to culture my own. Hopefully I can keep them going and going for a long time so that my reef tank has an endless supply of Kopi pods. So um, let me know down below if you've tried the Tigger pods from Reef Nutrition or if you've tried Kopi pods at all in your reef tank. Uh, what was the outcome? Do you like feeding Kopi pods? Did you have to keep buying more? Did you culture your own? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you want to pick up some Tigger Pods or Apex Pods or many other products from Reeve Nutrition, head over to ReeveNutrition.com. They got some great stuff going on over there. Thank you again for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, check the bell, and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.